everybody, so this is going to be my Ipsy bag unboxing for May. I have it here, as you can see, I've already ripped into it, I opened it yesterday, but I decided to film it for you guys so you could see what I got this month. I'm disappointed that I didn't film last month, because like I mentioned in my favorites, last month's bag was amazing. So um, if you watch anybody else who does Ipsy subscriptions, you probably would have saw what's in it, but I was so happy with last month, so I was really excited for this month. Again, it came in the pink packaging, and the bag this month looks like this it's like um like burlap material so not something we've been used to in the past i don't know at least six months or so i'm guessing it's like an eco-friendly green type bag so that's what the bag looks like here and then as for the products i'm going to start with the one that i was most excited about when i opened the bag and i'm actually wearing it on my lips right now this is the revlon color burst matte balm uh stain I think it's called. This is what it looks like here. I have a bunch of these Revlon like jumbo lip pencils but I didn't have any of the matte ones. I actually wanted to try it out so I was happy I got this. The color is elusive. That's what I have on my lips right now and I'll swatch it for you and it's just a really pretty everyday wearable color. It's like a a brighter rose color I would say. That's what it looks like right there. Uh, it goes on matte, but it's extremely creamy and really, really pigmented. And it doesn't dry my lips out. And it lasts like a pretty long time. So I might have to check out some more colors in this because I've been really impressed with it. All right, moving on. The next thing I got was a sunscreen. This is called Hang 10 50 Classic Sport Natural Sunscreen. So it's SPF 50. It's a pretty big size. Uh, it's one fluid out, so it's going to last a while. But I haven't had the best luck with natural sunscreens. I don't like the way that they don't really um, rub in properly to my skin and leave like a white cast. So I'll definitely give this one a go. I mean, it's we're heading into summer, so it's the right season. I will use the sunscreen, but it's not something I was super excited about. And then another product kind of like that is called Peerless. It's a Hydra Balance Moisturizer, normal to dry, sensitive to anti-aging. So it is a day cream, I'm guessing. Gently smooth over the face day, night after cleansing. So it's a day or night cream. Um, there's no SPF in it. So again, for this time of year, it's not something that I'm going to be using right now. Maybe I'll save it again for winter, but um, yeah, I'll show you what that looks like up close. The brand is Peerless. All right, and then I got an eyeshadow duo from Pacifica. The duo is called Natural Beauty Duo Number Two. So I have tried a couple brands from Pacifica. I think mostly they come in Ipsy bags, and I've been somewhat happy with most of them. So I was excited to try this. I haven't actually swatched it yet. It's like a purple, and uh, I don't know what color that is. Like a shimmery white color. So let's see how the swatch. Ooh, the purple is um not that pigmented and a little bit chalky, but anyways, I'll come in close so you can see that's the duo there. So it's like a purple and a shimmery white color, and then they're swatched on my hand right here. As you can see, they're not the greatest swatches. So, I mean, I'll give it a go, but again, something I'm not super excited about. And the last product are foil packet samples. And these are not my favorite because they're one-time use. And I feel like I'd rather get I'd rather get a jar like this, where something I can use it multiple times, than something in a foil packet that I can only use once. So I was kind of disappointed about this. It's called Barefoot Exfoliating Polished Complete Body Exfoliant. So, I mean, you got two of them. It's from the Freeman brand. I'll come in so you can see. Um, so it's just a body scrub type thing. I definitely will try it out. I've been experimenting with some self tanners here recently, so before I reapply them, I like to get all the dead skin cells off, so I will use them, but um, as far as an item in the Ipsy bag, not something I'm super excited about. So yeah, needless to say, this definitely was not my favorite month. Um, there's only really one thing that I was super excited about, that's the lip balm that I'm wearing right now. I'm really, really happy with that. The eyeshadow, in my opinion, is a dud. I will give it a go on my eyes, but swatch-wise, it's, uh, it's not very pigmented. Then I got a sunscreen, which is neither here nor there, and a face moisturizer, which I will try, but again, not, not really exciting products, and then a body exfoliant, so definitely not my favorite month by far, but every month is different, and there's been some really amazing months too. I'll leave the link, the link down below to Ipsy if you haven't checked it out for yourself. It's a monthly subscription service. It's $10 a month, a little bit more shipping to Canada, and yeah, I think that's it. If you have any questions, let me know, and I hope you enjoyed my Ipsy bag. Thanks for watching. Bye!